what is up you guys my name is Danaea and welcome back to my channel I know that you guys see this different scenery so if you want to know why you see this different scenery it is because I am in Fiji your girl got flewed out to Fiji <laughs> Tawana. Bula! <laughs> Such an awesome and nice day here in Fiji. So just say hey. Hi! Alrighty, so if you guys haven't guessed it by now, I am at Fiji Village. And the reason why I'm whispering because the family is in the living room talking and I don't want to be too loud. But we are at a village, so we get a very immersive experience um, into the culture. And it's absolutely beautiful. When I say beautiful, it's just how friendly they are. Um, the view is amazing. Um, and they don't have the best of everything or resource wise um, for the winter but as far as the culture here, it's very kind, very friendly, and it's really about community. Um, I'm going to show y'all the view that I'm looking at. As you can see, this is the room I'm just staying in with another roommate. Um, and we do have a house mom, and that's who that was earlier. And boo means hello or welcome. So, you hear me saying that within this video, that's what that means and that's what that is. So I'm turning around to show you all the view. It's absolutely beautiful, right? So, yeah. I hope you guys can hear me, but that's what will be. Um, and I'll be showing you guys you know, the things that I have to do in order to complete my coursework here. Um, but I'm absolutely enjoying it. Um, very nice, you know, very um, chill. So right now we're just chilling before we have to meet again um, at the community center. And then we'll have a church service later. So stay tuned. Hey you guys, so I am back to close out this video. The last audio that you heard was the church service. I didn't want to be the only one holding my camera recording. I didn't want to be here. But um, mostly the preacher was speaking in Fijian language. Um, and then they had another preacher to translate a portion of what they were saying. And then they sung a lot of hymns. And um, it was just really cool to experience. It's very different, um, but I say you can tell they got a lot of black, you know, because they sung about three songs. <laughs> and service wasn't too long, but, you know, us people, we love singing. You know, they got some melon in them, yeah, but they love singing, okay? Um, so, uh, right now, you see me in the bed um, in this mosquito net. Um, just to keep mosquitoes away, I do have a... A bug repellent and I am in a different dress because 
swam out in the water, the beautiful water. Um, I had fun, so much fun with the kids and everything. And I hope I can show you guys them. Just wanna respect their privacy, respect them, and not do it in an awkward time. So I'll enter the video sometime if I can. Um, and then um, that's pretty much it. I'm just about to go to sleep. I have this time to do in the morning. But I honestly cannot read when I'm tired or sleepy, so I'm definitely just going to read it in the morning um, so that I can do what I need to do. It's 9 o'clock right now on Friday, 9 p.m. Friday night, um, and I really can't read um, when I'm tired or sleepy. I don't remember anything, so because it's only 9 o'clock, I'm going to go to sleep and be up really early. I'm already know it. I'll have more, have more than enough time to do the sign that is due at 8 in the morning. So, that is it for day three, you guys. It's already been so many different changes. Such a blast. So, stay tuned for day four. Good night. Oh, wait. No. My day is good night. It be so my day. Bula, and welcome to day four of me being in Fiji. As you guys can see, this is the scenery, this is the background. It is absolutely beautiful, amazing. So yeah, welcome to day four. You guys will be in to see everything that we're doing um, and all of that. If you can hear them in the background, they're playing a game of baseball, so I'm about to go out there and play. Um, but yeah, welcome to day four, y'all. Good morning, Mbula. Stay tuned for what's going to happen today. Say hey, Bula. Say hey, Bula. Okay, that's it. So this one is down. Start with down, ends with up. Down, up, down, up. Down, up. Does it does taking does doing something like that usually take? The, the big one like this. Mm -hmm. If uh, I'm doing an order, <coughs> it's only taking one week. Oh wow! Yeah. <laughs> if it's an order, mm -hmm. yeah. If uh, I did it for just uh, to make me busy, mm -hmm. uh, it's a bit long, two uh, weeks to three. Wow, that is, you, you, you must be very fast at it. <laughs> <laughs> Are you the only one in the village that does it? This is what I did to earn money. Okay. Because I have children or kids for schooling. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I did this to support them. Yeah, mm -hmm. that makes sense. And are they in primary or secondary school? Uh, second. Okay. Yes, oh, okay. Yeah. How old are you? 21. Okay. Same age as me. Oh, yeah. Yes. <laughs> yes. Okay, I'm going to do one more time. Jack and Brandon were, uh, were here too. Oh, Jack. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> they, were... they are funny. <laughs> Did they want to learn? Yeah, yeah they want to learn. <laughs> we go there uh -huh. to the plantation. <laughs> they... They want to see the plant. The plant uh -huh. Yeah. Then we come back, uh -huh. explain them the, the dried ones. Uh -huh. Then we come here. Then they saw how I knew. <laughs> and I said to them, "This is the woman's." Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Who taught you to weave? Sorry. Who taught you to weave? My mother. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Thank you. 
Mariah. 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 Like Miss Carrie. Yeah, Mariah Carey. <laughs> Mariah Carey is a singer, but I'm a weaver. <laughs> Well, you're a singer too. We, we heard at the church. Cooking, we do our craft work. The craft work, yeah. yeah. What other craft work do people do? I know that there's weaving and there's like um, some, some cooking and everything. And, but like, what do you have any other arts and sort of crafting things that you like to do? Some of us uh, do sewing. Oh, yeah. sewing, yeah. yeah. Sewing. Is there any painting? Yeah, or? painting, craft. <coughs> Bula and welcome to day four. No, is it day four? I think it is day four of um, being here in Fiji. Today is our last day. We are leaving the village to head to a different location. So, Bula and good morning to day four. I'll be taking you guys still along with this journey, so I hope you guys are still staying tuned. Um, but yeah, good morning to, and welcome to day four. And if it's day five, y'all, I might be tripping. No, today is Sunday, so. No, it's day five. Day four and feet, no. Day five, I think. Okay, Bula. <laughs> Oh my gosh, y'all. So <laughs> I'm coming back on here because I was crying my heart out, literally just leaving the village. Like it just, ugh. I'm just being so emotional right now. <clears throat> Honestly, I'm on up my face really like I just got done crying. But y'all, when I tell y'all, I could not even look back and just see them waving by. I just honestly feels like I found my long lost family. And um, right now my heart is just like, ugh. you know, like, oh, that was hard, you know, especially when you feel like, um, I just feel like being a black girl, being African-American, you never know sometimes what your true heritage is, like all of it, all the way. Of course, I know I'm African-American. I'll claim black all day, baby, period. But I also feel like I have some roots in other places and I definitely need to do an ancestry test so I can see exactly what and where it is because, y'all, I didn't expect to feel so attached. We were there for two days and it is day five, by the way. Of me being on this whole entire trip but we were there for two days y'all and when i tell y'all like i can literally cry right now just thinking about it i was really just trying not to cry um when we were leaving on the boat i'm gonna show you guys and say where we are now but y'all oh my gosh like definitely me and my family we're gonna have to come back whether that's my mom and sisters or when i'm older married with kids i gotta come back and see um <coughs> them i have to um Suwana and all the kids like it literally made me cry um and they all have facebook so i'm definitely gonna add them on there um and keep up with them and see what they're doing um but it's just it's really deep for me and i didn't expect to feel like this i'm not even sure why but i definitely know i gotta make it my mission to go back to that village definitely <clears throat> before i leave this earth i gotta come back um so yeah that's that um i'm trying to get myself together um but yeah so 
awesome experience awesome and um it's just an unforgettable unexplainable experience and feeling you know because they don't have the best of everything but like i said before they make the best of everything the love the kindness you know <clears throat> and i am with a group of a whole bunch of you know people who don't look like me you know what i'm talking about so um the different experience i'm having versus them it's very different uh, and I'm gonna leave it at that because I want to make a whole nother video on you know tips and stuff and how I really feel uh, when I'm back home. But that's that. Um, <clears throat> probably gonna cry tonight, honestly, <clears throat> just thinking about it, you know. And it's not even in no like way like <clears throat> I feel like they need to be saved because a lot of these people they think like that in this savior complex that like people who don't look or live like them who seem underprivileged need to be helped all the time and you can tell they love their way of life how they live what they do they absolutely love it they have no problem with it so it's like there's no need to come in and try to disrupt the culture instead just try to be a part of it and understand it and it's deeper for me like I really do feel like I have some future roots somewhere and I definitely need to look into that because I did not expect to feel like this so I'm gonna stop talking before I start crying um, but yeah, let me show you guys around. So right now we are at the Lawaki Beach House, which is literally um, an hour walk from where we just came from. We caught a boat to come over here. Um, and um, for this experience, it's just for us to have two different living spaces. Um, one in the village and one at the beach house. So it is quite different here. Uh, I would say it's still not really Americanized, but more Americanized than the village. So let me show you guys around. And we will be staying here, me and my roommate, in there. <laughs> Alrighty, y'all, so I'm now about to go play volleyball, and I think we're supposed to be going deep dive swimming soon, so I will talk to you guys in a few. So I forgot that I didn't show you guys the inside. Um, so this is what it's looking like. Backyard is beautiful. And then here's the restroom. So like I said before, it's definitely not like the resort we went to at first. Um, but <laughs> it is not like the village either. So I'm excited though. I'm excited. Okay, bye for now. Hello, my friends. So it is now night time. And um, right now, just reading and watching the sunset. Um, and we went snorkeling today, y'all. Yeah, snorkeling is so, so fun. This is my very first time going snorkeling. So I really enjoyed it. 10 out of 10 recommend if you never tried it before. And we had an instructor and everything that showed us the right way to do it. Um, so it was so much fun, y'all. Yeah. Y'all gotta see the sunset. I'm gonna turn the camera for you all to see it. This concludes day five. I'm just about to eat dinner. Oh, actually, I'll show you guys what I'm eating for dinner. Um, and then, well, first, let me show you guys the sunset, show you what I'm eating for dinner. And then, it's nap time. Time to go to sleep. Well, not nap time, it's night time. And time for the next day. So, mate means night in Fiji. So, mate. Does. I mean, I think it sounds fun. <laughs> 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 
natural disasters My baby has been around for me Kingdoms have fallen Angels be calling None of that could ever make me leave yeah. Every time I look into your eyes Welcome to day six of being in Fiji. Welcome to day six. Yeah, welcome to day six. Yeah, welcome, welcome, welcome. Oh, welcome to day six. Making sure nobody was standing right there. Okay, good morning, you guys. So remember, Bula means good morning, hello, so forth. So today is day six. I've been wearing the same dress, y'all, because I honestly forgot to bring four pairs of clothes. Ooh, I broke a nail yesterday too playing volleyball. So I forgot to bring four pairs of clothes instead of two. So don't talk about me. Talk about your mama. Talk about your mama. Don't talk about me. Because I forgot to bring some extra clothes. But I am very much so clean and taking a shower here. The shower's right next door. Just had to keep wearing the same dress. And I'm not really feeling that. But the dress is given. So we get a pass. Clean body, you know. The dress just got to make it do what it do, baby. <laughs> All right. As y'all can tell, I'm really lit this morning. I just feel refreshed. Slept really good. Um, And I don't know if I showed y'all the dogs they have here. I haven't. I know you hear them in the background. So they have quite a few dogs in Fiji. I mean, they're called Polynesian dogs. And this is something we learned in class. These dogs were not native to Fiji, but they were brought over by people from Polynesia, which is like Hawaii and those islands in that area. Um... And if you didn't know, Hawaii is not as close to the U.S. as we are taught in America and in class. Like, I didn't just learn that. But, like, when I learned that a few years ago, my mind was blown because, like, Hawaii is part of the U.S. Like, it's uh, owned by the U.S. Like, it's a U.S. territory, but it is not close to the U.S. at all. It's actually farther, farther out than Fiji. And it took, a, like, 10-hour flight to get here. So, just think about that. Anyways... Bula again. Um, welcome to day six. I did forget to show you guys what I be what I ate last night. I keep forgetting because y'all, I was starving, so I wasn't trying to worry about no recording. I just wanted to eat, eat, eat. But it was tomato soup and garlic bread, um, and they had a salad with pasta. So they first gave us like a starter. So they gave us tomato soup with garlic bread, um, and then they came back out with pasta and some meat mixture for spaghetti. So I had the tomato soup, the pasta, and I put the pasta in my tomato soup rather than eating the meat mixture um, with the veggies. And then um, I had um, um, I forgot what else did I have? Um, dang, that just made me forget. Someone passed by, and I just wanted to make sure I was paying attention. But, um, geez, that made me forget. But it was so good, y'all. The tomato soup with the bread, the garlic bread, and the pasta. And it was the best tomato soup I've ever had. Like, when I tell you natural, only tomato soup I've had is, like, out the can. And don't get me wrong, Campbell's be hitting. But it ain't nothing like a fresh tomato soup. And what they made here was A1. So delicious. And the garlic bread they made was natural, garlic, everything. So it was so good, y'all. So that's my spill on that. I hope I can show y'all and record what I'm eating for breakfast. I am. I'm going to make it happen. Okay? So stay tuned for day six. Okay, hey, y'all. So I am back. Um, What am I about to say? I forgot what I was about to say. I just lost my train of thought. Um, we just had our class discussion um, talking about, you know, the different readings we had to do basically about the Fijian culture. I don't know what's in my head. <laughs> but um, 
yeah so it's just interesting um because i am still taking classes here even though it's definitely like vacation and the classes are not hard at all um they're really not so yeah we were talking about that um what else were we discussing um i'm in my bathing suit now because we're about to go um snorkeling again in a few minutes and i'm gonna show y'all my snorkel gear and everything and y'all i'm gonna just stop saying that i'm gonna show y'all my breakfast because what i showed y'all was tea time i keep forgetting to show y'all breakfast i just be so hungry so i just be eating um but i'm trying to continue to take you guys on this journey with me um but we are about to go snorkeling after lunch and i'll tell you guys how it went and what it is but this is what we're looking like out here So very nice, very nice. It just rained, so yeah, that's that. And I'm just playing in the water, just waiting for lunch in a few minutes. So yeah, that's it. So I hope you guys are staying tuned. And yeah, so see y'all in a few. Hey guys, so we just came back from snorkeling. If y'all can see that sunset in the back, that's what I'm about to show you guys. Um, and right now we're just working on this presentation for a PowerPoint um, that we got to turn in for a class assignment for what we did while snorkeling. So we actually did something really, really cool where we got to use some waterproof paper. Um, and you can write on it underneath the water, y'all. It was so cool. So we, my group, me and this other guy, we just had to count the different coral um, and coral bleaching basically is when coral turns white. So coral, like in a coral reef in the ocean, is not supposed to be white. It's supposed to be some type of color. So we got to see that, um, mark that down and everything. <laughs> Y'all, I look so rough. Don't talk about me. Talk about your mama. And I know I'm not saying that right. Talk about your mama, not me. Okay, period. But no, honestly and seriously, um, that was really cool. It was really, really cool. So we put our whole presentation together. And I'm about to show y'all that in a few minutes and show y'all the sunset. Um, but yeah, that's it. <laughs> back y'all we just finished the presentation y'all seeing how nice the sunset looks here it is absolutely beautiful y'all and Fiji is near the equator so the sunsets and everything is just amazing and it's nothing but ocean out there so you literally can see it so 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 well so now I'm finna hop in the shower girl needs to refreshing and freshen up after being in that salt water and just being out all day so don't look at me with my hand in the back. Y'all, these braids need to come out too. Like I said, talk about your mama, not me. Okay? <laughs> but yeah, so I'm about to get myself together, um, put my dress back on and everything, get ready for dinner. Um, and y'all know what I'm not going to say. If you've been paying attention, you already know what I said I'm not going to say because I keep forgetting. But that's that. Um, so yeah, let me hop in the shower, freshen up yeah y'all continue to stay tuned i'm gonna keep saying that so if you're tired of me saying that then i don't know what to tell you so continue to stay tuned one eternity later hello my friends i just got through eating some good curry chicken and rice y'all when i tell y'all it was so 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 good y'all it was so good um y'all know i keep forgetting to show y'all i really do like literally i'll be having them in my mind okay Show them what I'm about to eat. Show them what I'm about to eat. Right when I leave this little cottage thing, this little building that I'm in right now, about to go to sleep, I forget, y'all. So, charge it to my head, not my heart. I really be wanting to show y'all so you can get an idea. But I feel like if I tell y'all, that suffices. So, I had some good um, curry chicken and rice. And they had this chili sauce that's called, like, Tamua Noah. Some 
something similar to that but it was a dark um sauce and it was like sweet and spicy y'all it was so good like if you ever had curry chicken and rice it'd be missing that little sauce that you have here in fiji it was so 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 good so now i'm about to go to sleep um and we also just got through doing our presentation and our professor and our instructor said we did amazing me and my um partner connor <laughs> we did a great job so i'm excited for that period it was like the only group that they said they didn't have extra questions for or nothing bad to say so mm, we love being smart and then um the last thing is what's the last thing the last thing I'm about to say is that I'm just about to go to sleep. We leave for in the morning time for some more water activities. I wish I could take this one with me, y'all, but because I messed up my other phone with water, I'm definitely not even about to try it no more. So that's that. So good night, you guys. More day. And I will see you guys in the morning for day seven. Mm. and welcome to day seven day seven day seven day seven guess what we're looking like out here Woo! it's so nice y'all so we're back where we started if you can tell um and oh that's what i was gonna sit down and talk to y'all but we're back where we started um and uh oh what i showed y'all before is we left the village um, and we left the beach house, actually the beach house, not the village, the beach house. So that's what I was showing y'all in the background. No, in the previous video. Sorry, my words seem all twisted up. So yeah, that's that. Um, and it getting twisted up because honestly, like the people that be around me and like, they just be staring. Like, and I'm not talking about the people that live here. I'm talking about the people who are in my group, the white people. They're weird and they just be staring at me trying to figure me out like they ain't never seen a black person in their life or somebody that looks different from them so y'all see me just stop talking and stuff like that that's probably why if it's not another person passing by i'm just trying to look then it's probably one of them are being weird and just staring at me like i don't know <laughs> so yeah that's that um yeah so now we are back to where we started off a few days ago which is the Pearl Harbor so today is the last day of me being in Fiji y'all and I can honestly say I'm just ready to take out these braids y'all I feel like I look so rough but other than that like the experience has been amazing so let me show y'all what it's looking like all the way out here on the other side it is absolutely beautiful and if you remember this is what it looked like before yeah yeah so that's that um so i'm just gonna be taking you guys along we're actually just about to go kayaking so i know i'm not gonna be able to record that at all or any type of water thing i already said i ain't trying it with my phone so just continue to stay tuned for that um and yeah i'm just looking at the fish that's in the water over here let me show y'all yeah, see, see this is why I'm fine, y'all. Y'all see those fish? I'm ready. They swim away now. Oh, there's one right there. <laughs> yeah, so that's it for this, y'all. Well, not it, but you know, it's the last day. So, just gonna keep going, keep on recording, and we see what we get. And I have to stop putting that sunscreen on my face. Uh, Oh, it's breaking out so bad. I'm gonna look like a whole new woman when I come back on here. So, just I'm just a little dusty right now. So, 
Y'all just continue to stay tuned. See you in a few. Welcome to day eight. So last night was the final night that I will be in Fiji. Today is the final day. So I will be leaving in a few hours. I'm actually about to go eat breakfast, but let me take y'all out on this patio. As y'all can tell, I'm a whole new woman. I'm a whole new girl. The hair is different. The hair is giving. And my hair has grown so much, y'all. So if y'all already seen the videos I make about my hair journey, continue to follow me for my hair journey. But this is what we looking like out here. The background. Okay, let me go back in because it's kind of hot and mosquitoes gonna get me. But yeah, so I'm a whole new woman with a whole new hairstyle and I feel a lot, a lot, a lot better. So that's that. But again, Bula and welcome to day eight you all so mostly i just have to pack up all my stuff i got this suitcase done all of this stuff i need to finish and pack up it's just a whole mess so let me just show you how to fit for today because we are well i can't tell you yet i don't know if i told you guys already hmm. we're gonna give it a secret but let me turn the camera around and show you how to fit for today all righty so it's nothing too crazy very comfy it's giving chill slight tomboy vibes so i just have on this uga shirt adidas sweatpants and my crocodiles <laughs> with some fuzzy socks because the plane always is so cold for me or to me oops <laughs> i forgot y'all probably gonna have to turn your phone okay let me just date it again so i have on this uga shirt um these adidas sweatpants and then my crocodiles with my fuzzy socks so it's giving slight tomboy but very comfy vibes yeah yeah i'm so excited for today to be the last day i'm just ready not ready to go per se but like you know ready for the next thing and i don't know if i told y'all what the next thing is but i'm not going to now y'all see my hair in the trash bin? <laughs> all them braids i had to take out so let me flip the camera but yeah i am so excited so welcome to day eight hey welcome to day eight i know y'all see me trying to find the light because <laughs> all the lights off in here but i am actually running late for breakfast breakfast is at 7 30 is like 7 45 right now so i'm finna go ahead and head out of here and go eat my breakfast but i feel so much better y'all see and i feel like when you take your hair out oh well, i don't know i was just about to set my face clearing up and I think it is more so than yesterday, but we're gonna see, we're gonna see. But the hair is definitely popping, it's giving curls. And all I used was, um, let me show y'all actually. I used this dark and lovely little pack. So if you're traveling and you just need something like for one time use, this is a detangling cream, but I also had some um, shampoo and conditioner. I just didn't have time because my group literally wanted to meet like 10 minutes once we got here, shower in 10 minutes. I'm like, I'm going to be late because I got to take out my hair and I got to wash my hair. I haven't washed my hair in like, what, since I got those braids done. And of course, I rinsed my hair out after I went swimming and stuff like that. But like fully washing it and giving my hair some love and letting it be free and out. Yeah, it needed that. So that's that. So let me take out a breakfast with me. And then I actually have a quiz today and an assignment that I had to turn in earlier today, which was an essay. It wasn't hard at all. It was 250 words. So that's that y'all so continue to stay tuned welcome to day eight and this will be the last video day for this vlog for this trip and i'll be going somewhere leaving from here to go somewhere else so you have to stay tuned because i might give you a hint or i might tell you at the end of this video who knows but you gotta stay tuned to find out okay so peace i'll be going to breakfast and then we're just gonna see where the day takes us Y'all, I'm just in love with my hair. 
Y'all not gonna stop seeing me now. my friends i am back with the version pina colada cheers wait hold on let me do it right <laughs> cheers <laughs> mm. so good i love me a pina colada y'all that's all i'll be getting virgin pina colada i actually never had one with rum in it so these are so good though I ordered one last night at the restaurant that I showed y'all for the um, the one we were at. It was disgusting. I had to send it back and not pay for it. It was so bad. Mm -mm. And the lady was saying they didn't have enough pineapple juice and the pineapple juice they used to make mine was the last of it. I'm like, well, you can tell because it didn't taste good. This one, delicious very very good and i think i'm gonna go get some money for my family to bring back home as some souvenirs because they wanted something from fiji not so much australia but they definitely wanted something from fiji so that's what i believe i'm going to go do so i can get them some fijian dollars for them to keep as keepsakes let me show y'all everything it looks so nice out here just so relaxing And I know I keep showing y'all the same exact thing, but it's just so, so beautiful and so nice to me. And I love looking like all the way through here where you can literally see the difference between like this water versus that blue, really blue water back there. So it looks so beautiful. But yeah, so I'm just chilling the vibe and just chilling the vibe before we eat lunch and then before we head out. <laughs> I told you I'm not gonna stop seeing me now. My hair is a lot better. <laughs> Y'all can't tell me this don't look unreal. This is rice with chicken and sweet heat sauce and chicken has barbecue sauce on it and then penne pasta with some type of salsa oranges and then tropical juice fruit y'all i'm still ready to eat y'all are very lucky i remember to show y'all what it is
Yeah, I just found this very interesting. So this is a gas station we stopped by on the way to the airport. Um, and it's such a cute setup. It is so, so, so cute. Like, look at this. <laughs> uh, it's so nice. <laughs>